Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here, iTouch iPods, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a iPad 2 hardware slash software overview, everything that the iPad 2 comes with, uh, looking at some new settings, looking at some new capabilities of this new iPad, just getting to know the iPad, basically the iPad 2 a little bit more. Uh, if you had the iPad 1, you will know most of these. Um, I mean, you'll you'll notice the difference between most of these. Uh, nothing too too major, but something's a little bit significant that I think uh, would make some people lean more towards the iPad 2. An iPad 1 and iPad 2 comparison video will be coming soon, but this is just a quick hardware so a software rundown of the iPad uh, 2. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get right on into it. We have here the orange smart cover on our iPad 2. If we go ahead and open it up here, it will awake for us. Thank you very much, smart cover. We can go ahead and fold that back now. And as you guys can see, one thing right off the bat, hardware-wise, uh, we have the white framing now. Other than, you can, you can get the iPad in black too, but instead of having uh, only black, now you can choose between black and or white, which is pretty neat. Uh, more on that coming up in the video comparison between the two iPads. But you can now get it in white or black, like I said. Uh, on the screen itself, you guys will notice a bunch of different things. As you guys can uh, probably see from if you're a uh, previous iPad owner, you will see a couple new things that uh, draw your attention. The first one being FaceTime. So if we go to and open up FaceTime here, you guys can see we have the front-facing camera and we have the back-facing camera that you can access. I have yet to set this up yet with my Apple ID, but as you guys can see, you guys can see me there with the green screen in the background. Uh, we can You can create a new account. You can learn about FaceTime with this FaceTime camera. You can chat with everybody. You can do it landscape, portrait. You can do it whichever way you want to do it. Well, there's me looking pretty weird. Uh, but you can... Uh, you can use this camera or you can use the back facing camera to FaceTime with somebody which is pretty neato uh, Very very basic FaceTime uh, Then we have the camera application which is very cool You guys can see the huge camera aperture that opens up here And now you guys are seeing all orange because of the orange case kind of a flaw Maybe if they had built something into there uh, into their smart cover But as you guys can see then if I remove that there's my hand Woo, behind it Whoa, it's like I'm reaching into the iPad <sighs> Anyway, uh, we have the front facing camera as well uh, on the back there That is a 720p video camera that you can use to record videos pretty neat uh, on the front here I believe it's just a standard VGA as you guys can see right there. Wow. There I am. Uh, it's got pretty good quality It's not iPhone picture quality. It is iPod touch picture quality, which is okay It's just something to have uh, if you have an iPhone you won't probably be using this as much as you would uh, be using it I instead of your iPhone, you'd probably whip out your iPhone instead because the iPhone does have great picture quality. Uh, but it's just something really neat to have. You can do pictures or video, like I said here, using the front and or back facing cameras. Uh, if we go ahead and close out of this now, uh, we'll go ahead and see the next thing up here. We have Photo Booth. You guys will notice that if you have a Mac, if you are a Mac user, this definitely is something that uh, you recognize. Uh, Photo Booth is an application that lets you distort images, uh, change them up, do whatever you really want to, and make them look all customizable. Uh, yeah, that's a word. In the middle, you have normal, you got thermal camera, mirror, x ray, kaleidoscope, normal, light tunnel, squeeze, twirl, and stretch. Let's go ahead into Kaleidoscope as you can do a cool, a bunch of cool things with Kaleidoscope. As you guys can see, that, that's getting all freaky. And the cool thing is if you take your fingers and you pinch, whoa, you make, you distort the Kaleidoscope in all different kinds of ways. You can zoom in a bunch or you can zoom out a lot. So it's just really, really weird. Um, so you can go ahead and zoom in a bunch more again there. Whoa, whoa. You can spin it all around. You can have, move it all around. It's really, really cool how you can interact uh, with this application. We'll go ahead and let's take one. That's a that's a hot pick. You guys see it just slides down right there, kind of like it's coming out of an old Polaroid. Really, really cool. You can just go ahead and click this, and you can go back. You can switch through different effects. Uh, you can look through the thermal camera uh, as well. You can switch to the back facing camera to use Photo Booth as well. You don't need to use um, the uh, front facing camera only. You can use either one, and they'll just take a picture. And it'll slide right down there in the bottom, kind of like an old Polaroid, which I think is really cool. Something just minor things like that, I think, are really, really neat. Now, as you guys can see, the iPad itself is much, much slimmer than the original version. It is slimmer than the iPhone. That will all be coming up in the comparison video. This is just to run you down a quick look at the iPad itself, uh, some new things that it's got. And uh, let's go ahead and just look at the back of the iPad here. Here on the back, we have a speaker grill, which is brand new, very neat. Uh, you have your Apple 30 pin dock connector, nothing new there. Um, the speaker grill works a lot better now. The sound quality comes out much crisper. Uh, on the side here, you have your either rotation switch or mute switch. You now have the choice to do that, which I'll 
I'll show you in a second. Volume rockers, your back facing camera right there, power on and off, and headphones, uh, headphone adapter now at the top. Headphone adapter? Who calls it a headphone adapter? Headphone, um, whatever you guys want to call it, headphone dock. And you got a little tiny thing up here, which I'm pretty sure is the microphone right up there, but I'm not 100% sure. But you got a proximity sensor, I believe, up top there, something like that. Uh, you got your FaceTime camera, and you got your white uh, home button as well to go with the uh, white border of the iPad. Now, something that you guys are really interested in with this new iPad is that it has a dual-core A5 chip compared to the iPad's old um, single-core or just core uh, A4 chip. Now, this is basically going to be doing double the speed, nine times the graphics, everything like that. It's going to be giving you guys everything much, much... It's going to look much better. It's going to run much faster uh, than the previous iPad. No Retina display, which is kind of a letdown. I know a lot of you guys wanted the Retina display, but no Retina display just yet. They're probably saving that for the iPad 3 in a couple months. Um... But you do get the A5 chip, which is going to run your internet speeds a lot faster. Uh, in settings, if we go in here, jump in here right quick, you guys can see you slide, uh, you slide side switch to either lock rotation or mute. So that's this button right over here on the side I just showed you. You can choose to have that mute the sound like that or you can have it lock rotation now it's totally your choice uh in this new ipad 4.3 which is pretty neat um there's a couple other things like i said with facetime camera photo booth uh there's a new thing up here location services pretty neat i i guess how much are you going to be using that uh, maybe if you have a 3g ipad uh maybe then but with the wi-fi ipad ipad not so much um, but this is just to give you guys a quick look, quick rundown of the iPad. You guys can see scrolling through the pages is much, much smoother than the last one. You guys see I'm, I'm going fast. It's keeping up with me. Uh, let's just go ahead and let's load just really quickly. I'm going to do a video on this by itself. But let's go, ho go ahead and load a website like CNN.com. Let's see if it's going to load us. How fast is it going to load us? This is on Wi-Fi, guys. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit faster than your 3G connections. But look how fast that's loading. It loaded everything. Loaded everything on the site. And I could scroll up and down everything smoothly. No, nothing loading. No gray loading bars at the bottom. You guys saw how fast it loaded. It's got all this content to load. All this stuff right here. You guys can see how fast, how far I could zoom in. This is really, really neat. You guys can see how fast it keeps up with my fingers. It gets the job done. It really, really does with this new iPad. It's much faster and much slimmer. A lot cooler design with the white. I'm digging the white. Some people aren't. I'm kind of liking it over the black. It's just something different to have. Um, it's just, it's fun. This new iPad is fun. Comparison video on the iPad 1 and the iPad 2 coming very soon. Uh, this was just a quick rundown just to let you guys get, get familiar, uh, familiarized uh, with the new iPad 2. Give you guys cool looks about it. Uh, you got the smart case, by the way, if you guys are interested in winning a smart case. Simply go to enter my smart case giveaway in my iPad unboxing video. Let's give you guys a quick look one more time at the iPad up close camera right there everything really really cool on this new ipad case thank you guys for watching my video hope you guys enjoyed please favorite comment thumbs up subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace